missiles flying at 10,000 miles per hour, drones swarming from every angle. And yet, America can stop them mid-air. But which system is the fastest, the deadliest? You're about to find out. Let's start at number 12 with the ANTWQ-1 Avenger, a mobile air defense system mounted on a Humvee. It may be small, but it plays a big role in protecting troops on the ground. Built in 1987, it uses infrared fire-and-forget targeting to launch up to eight Stinger missiles. With a top speed of 55 miles per hour, it's fast enough to keep up with advancing forces. Its 3.1-mile range is ideal for shooting down low-flying threats like helicopters, drones, and slow aircraft. The Avenger includes thermal sights, laser rangefinders, and a forward-looking infrared camera for day and night use. It can be operated manually or automatically, offering flexibility in combat. Often used in Iraq and Afghanistan, it's a trusted line of defense for U.S. Army and National Guard units. Costing around $2.5 million per unit, it's a mobile shield where it matters most. At number 11 is the ANM PQ-64 Sentinel, the radar system that gives air defenses their eyes and ears. Built in 1995, the Sentinel is a stationary platform that provides 360-degree coverage for up to 46 miles. It uses advanced 3D radar tracking and can lock onto targets with less than 10-meter precision. Although it doesn't fire any missiles itself, it plays a vital role by guiding systems like NASAMS and Avenger. With a unit cost of $2 million, it's a critical part of the U.S. Army's layered defense network. It can detect drones, helicopters, cruise missiles, and fixed-wing aircraft long before they get close. It uses track while scan technology, which means it can follow multiple targets at once. Deployed across U.S. bases and NATO defenses, Sentinel radars are the first to alert when the sky turns hostile. Without this radar, America's other air defenses wouldn't see the threat coming. Coming in at number 10 is the FIM-92 Stinger, one of the most famous shoulder-fired air defense missiles in history. First used by U.S. forces in 1981, the Stinger missile changed the battlefield by putting air defense in the hands of infantry. It's light enough for one person to carry and fire, yet powerful enough to take down helicopters and jets. With a max speed of 1,500 miles per hour and a range of 2.5 miles, it's a fire-and-forget system that locks onto infrared heat from enemy aircraft. Its high-explosive fragmentation warhead is designed to destroy targets on contact. At just $38,000 per missile, it's cost-effective and deadly. The Stinger has seen combat in nearly every U.S. conflict since the Cold War. It's still used today by the U.S. Army Marines and allies across the globe. Whether in mountains, cities, or deserts, the Stinger brings air defense to the front line. At number 9 is C-RAM, the system made to shoot down rockets, mortars, and artillery before they land. Using the M61A1 Gatling gun, it fires 6,000 rounds per minute to create a solid wall of bullets in the air. Its max effective range is 1.2 miles, giving it just seconds to react. C-RAM is radar-guided and can detect, track, and destroy incoming threats automatically. First deployed in 2005, it was adapted from the Navy's Phalanx system to protect U.S. Army bases in Iraq and Afghanistan. The entire unit costs about $30 million and is placed at forward bases for last-line defense. While it doesn't launch missiles, its speed and reliability make it a vital system when seconds count. It remains one of the fastest reacting air defense systems in use. Number 8 goes to the ANTPS-80GATOR, a next-generation radar used by the U.S. Marine Corps. This mobile radar system can detect aircraft, cruise missiles, drones, and even artillery from as far as 120 miles. Built with advanced AESA technology, it tracks targets with under 10-meter accuracy. Though it doesn't launch missiles, it feeds real-time data to air defense systems. Entering service in 2019, it's fully transportable and built for fast deployment. It costs around $80 million per unit and plays a major role in the Marine Corps' air-ground coordination. GATOR supports future battlefield operations and integrated air and missile defense missions. It's a radar with eyes on everything and blind spots on nothing. Coming in at number 7 is the Iron Dome, originally Israeli, now integrated into U.S. defenses. The U.S. acquired the system in the early 2020s to protect high-value areas like bases and airfields. With a range of 43 miles, it intercepts rockets, mortars, and drones using Tamir missiles that travel at 1,500 miles per hour. 
Each interceptor costs just $40,000, and a full battery costs around $50 million. What makes Iron Dome special is its ability to decide which threats to engage, saving interceptors for real danger. It has a 90% success rate and has been tested by the U.S. Army in live exercises. Small, smart, and effective, Iron Dome fills a critical short-range gap in America's layered air defense. Taking the sixth spot is THAAD, short for Terminal High Altitude Area Defense. This advanced system is built to intercept ballistic missiles in their final phase, right before impact. With a range of 125 miles and a top speed of 6,300 miles per hour, THAAD uses a kinetic kill vehicle to collide directly with the target. It carries no explosive warhead and relies on precision for neutralization. Deployed since 2008, it now protects key locations in Guam, South Korea, and the Middle East. THAAD's accuracy makes it ideal for stopping high-speed, high-altitude threats. Each missile costs $12.6 million and works as part of a layered shield with systems like Patriot and Aegis. Whether launched from a war zone or over the ocean, if a missile is headed toward U.S. forces, THAAD is ready to meet it mid-air. Ranked number 5 is NASAMS, the National Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile System. First deployed in 1994 and co-developed with Norway, NASAMS defends Washington, D.C. and has seen action in Ukraine. It fires radar-guided AIM-120 or AIM-9X missiles at threats up to 25 miles away, reaching speeds of 3,000 miles per hour. With modular launchers and mobile command nodes, it adapts easily to any battlefield. Each battery costs $65 million, with AIM-120 missiles at $380,000 each. NASAMS links with Sentinel radar for seamless detection and interception. Its flexibility, fast response, and proven performance make it a top-tier choice for medium-range air defense. Whether protecting capitals or combat zones, NASAMS gets the job done quickly and precisely. At number 4 is the SM-6, a multi-mission naval missile deployed on U.S. Navy warships. Introduced in 2009, it can destroy enemy aircraft, cruise missiles, and even ballistic threats. It reaches out to 230 miles and hits targets at 2,700 miles per hour. Guided by radar and a terminal seeker, the SM-6 tracks enemies over the horizon. Each missile costs about $3.9 million and is launched from vertical cells on Aegis-equipped ships. It supports long-range and close-in threats, even offering limited anti-ship capabilities. The SM-6 adds unmatched versatility to the Navy's defense force and plays a critical role in intercepting modern and hypersonic threats across global waters. Taking the third spot is the RIM-116 Rolling Airframe Missile, or RAM. This fast-reacting, short-range missile is used by U.S. Navy ships for close-in defense against cruise missiles and drones. Entering service in 1992, RAM hits speeds of 1,500 miles per hour and has a range of 6.2 miles. Guided by both radar and infrared sensors, it can lock onto threats automatically after launch. Each missile costs $1.8 million and is launched from lightweight systems on aircraft carriers, destroyers, and more. RAM is known for high reliability in saturated attacks where multiple threats arrive at once. Small, fast, and lethal, it's a last line of defense that packs a serious punch. At number two is the Aegis Combat System, paired with SM-2 and SM-3 missiles. Aegis is the U.S. Navy's command system for air and missile defense. SM-2 missiles strike at 90 miles and 3,000 miles per hour, while SM-3 can hit threats in space at 745 miles away and 10,000 miles per hour. SM-2 uses radar-guided blast fragmentation warheads, while SM-3 uses a hit-to-kill vehicle. SM-2 costs around $2 million, and SM-3 up to $27.9 million. Aegis operates on land and at sea with ships stationed across the Pacific and Europe. It provides a floating shield that can protect against advanced aircraft, cruise missiles, and ballistic weapons. At the top is the Patriot Pac-3 MSE, the most powerful and advanced land-based air defense system in the U.S. military arsenal. Originally entering service in 2001, the system received a major upgrade in 2016 with the Pac-3 MSE variant, which brought improved maneuverability, extended range, and better target tracking. The missile reaches out to 75 miles and flies at speeds of 3,000 miles per hour, allowing it to intercept fast-moving threats with precision. Using hit-to-kill technology, it relies on direct impact rather than explosives, guided by a kinetic fragmenting warhead that adds stopping power. It's capable of neutralizing ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, aircraft, and advanced drones. The system has been proven in combat across multiple regions, 
including Israel and Saudi Arabia, where it has successfully intercepted real-world threats. Each missile costs around $4 million, and the Patriot system is now being enhanced with the LTAMDS radar for even greater detection range and accuracy. Used by more than a dozen U.S. allies, it remains the backbone of American land-based missile defense and a critical shield in global military strategy. From shoulder-fired launchers to space-bound interceptors, these air defense systems form the high-tech shield that protects the skies over America and its allies from threats near and far. Subscribe for more powerful military tech breakdowns like the video if you learned something new, share it with fellow defense fans, and don't forget to comment your favorite system below. We're watching the skies together.